ओके सो लेट्स ट्राई द नेक्स्ट कोडिंग एक्सरसाइज सो ओपन द लीड को डॉट कॉम एंड गो टू द प्रॉब्लम टैब एंड इफ यू स्क्रोल डाउन देर इज अ फर्स्ट प्रॉब्लम दैट इज द टू सम सो इट्स कम अंडर द लाइक इजी कैटेगरी ओनली सो वी विल ट्राई टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम सो क्लिक ऑन इट सो लेट्स रीड द क्वेश्चन गिवन एन एरे ऑफ इंटीजर नम सो वी हैव सम एरे गिवन and an integer target so there are two things given one is an array and one is some target like some array is given and some target is given that is fine return indices so we need to return some indices of two number so we need to return indices of two number only indices of two number such that they add up to the target you may assume that each input would have exactly one solution and you may not use the same element twice that is fine you can return the answer in any order okay that is also fine basically what is mentioned is we have given an, an array numbers and we have given a target we need to find first we need to find a, like a, is like two number which if we add those two number and the sum equal to the target exam example so 2 plus 7 is equal to 9 but we don't need to run 2 and 7 we need to return its indices that is the its position basically we need to return indices of the two number of the two number such that they add when they add they they add up to target so that when we add them we will get a target so 2 and 7 is equal to 9 2 is on index 0 and 7 is index 1 so answer is 0 and 1 so similarly this array is given and target is 6 so we have 2 and 4 so 2 and 4 is equal to 6 so 4 plus 2 is equal to 6 2 is on index 1 and 4 is on index 2 so we are returning its index then index of those two number who sum equal to the target So three and three six. So first three index zero and second three index one. And uh, only one valid answer exists. And there is a follow up. Can you come up with an algorithm that is less than O of n square times? That is like okay. We will like uh, see this later on. First we will try to solve by any approach. Whether you are on two two loops, three loop, four loop, five loop doesn't matter. Are you able to solve this problem or not? Right. So. So this is the problem. Two some problem. When we see the examples, so two plus nine two is on index zero, seven is on index one. So we this example. So let's come on the brute force approach. So within the brute brute force uh, like a fourth approach, we need to figure it out all the combination because we don't know, na? Like okay, this is the like small array, two seven eleven fifteen. By the naked eye, we can we can see okay, two plus seven is equal to nine. But if you see the length of the array is Up to ten to power four. So if this like huge length is given of array, then it's very difficult to find like which two numbers sum up the two like uh, sum up equal to the target. So what we have to do? So we will we will pick first element two, then we will add with seven. We will add with eleven. We will add with fifteen. All right. So we add two with seven equal to nine. So as soon as we find the target, we will just Uh, come out of the loop so in this case in the even in the first instance we found the target let's see the next example so we will pick the 3 so in the first we will pick 3 and then we will check 3 with 2 3 with 4 so one loop finish then we pick 2 2 with 4 so 2 plus 4 is equal to 3 basically we are running two loop one loop loop which will run on all the element and second loop which will like add the another element all right so as an example So we will run two loop and we will check if the sum is equal to the tar target. If the sum is equal to the target, then we will return its index. So example, so example number is equal to three, two, four. So we will try all the possible combination. Three plus two is equal to five. Three plus four is equal to seven. Two plus four is equal to six. So first loop. So if we are running three plus two is equal to uh, like uh, five, and then we are running three plus uh, uh, four is equal to. Uh, So three is part of the first loop and the rest of the number part of the second loop. So three plus two, three plus four because first number will remain same and second number is going going to change. So so two plus four. So second loop will run till n and starting from the i plus one because we are not adding three plus three. We are adding three plus two. Along with that, when we go the two, then two plus four. So we are not running a loop from four because four leaves end. So the first loop will run till this point, and second loop run from two to four. Okay, so let's try to implement this. So 
so this is this is the like a brute force approach so first try to see whether the brute force approach will be accepted by the lead code or not okay so so let's calculate the length n is equal to uh, length of nums so we need to run it to the four i in range 0 to n minus 1 because we know first we run a loop from 2 to 11 because if we run till 15 then then okay the number come 15 then the sec what is the second number we don't have the further number so we will run till 11 so that the second number will be 15 for i in 0 to n minus 1 and for j in range so i plus 1 because we can't add the same number right so the, you may not use the same element so it is mentioned in the code as well so we have to start from the like if i is equal to like zeroth element then we have to start from the first element if i is the first element then we have to start from the second element if i is the second element then we have to start from the third element if i is the third then we can't proceed that's why we are like running the first loop till n minus one i plus one to n okay then if nums of i plus nums of j equal to target so number of i means like the like two and number of j means less this, like the second element if both the number equal to the target then we are returning so we have to return some array returning the first index and the second index that's it so let's try to run it So our uh, solution accepted. So let's try to submit it. So our solution accepted, right? But you see like we only be 28% of the people. Along with that, our even though we our solution is accepted, but if you scroll down, there is a follow up. Can you come up with an algorithm which is less than of n square time complexity, but here, we are running two loop. So if we are running two loop until n, so n minus one is n only because one is a constant and n is n. So we are running two loop and square. So we are running two loops and of square. But they want is there any is there any technique? Is can we write some code uh, which can be run in like less than n square? Maybe single n that is one loop, right? So let's try. Even though this solution has been accepted, but we are not going to submit the solution because we have to optimize our solution because within the question itself, they mentioned kindly come up with the approach which is uh, which has solution of less than n of square. So let's try to remove this. Okay, so let's see, let's see the optimal approach. So like right now what we are doing is so what we are doing the okay let's see one minute. So we are running the two loop. So can we like which loop we can remove? So you first either we can remove first loop or second loop. So first loop, see like we have to at least scan all the numbers. So one loop is definitely needed. Right. So we can't come up with the solution in O of one. One loop is definitely needed O of n. All right. So what we can do is so. But within the second loop, now second loop is not required, unnecessary, because unnecessary we are going back, 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 back again. So what we can do is we can use some extra space and whatever the element come, we will store into some, some array or some dictionary, right? So what, so let me remove this. So just to avoid the second loop, we are, because as soon as we pass two, right, then, and we come up to the seven. So whatever the previous element we are going to store into the dictionary because if we have to search in the array then it will take o of n but if we have to search in the dictionary it will take only o of n right so it, it is going to reduce our time complexity even though we have we are using the space complexity but in the question it is not mentioned you can't use the extra space it is mentioned can you decrease the time complexity yes we can reduce the time complexity but we have to use some extra space so how to do that so we will so we will take some dictionary you can say like temp dictionary or hash map that is the empty dictionary so what we can do is so we will run first first loop three two four so first we will pick three okay we know target is six all right so to achieve the target what number is required so what we can do is like a required number is target minus three is three is three in that hash map no if three is not in the hash map let's move forward two so 
but before moving to two, because we already checked one element, right? And this can be added with some other element to make the target element. So we can store this element in the hash map. So we will store this element into the hash map with the value as index. Why the value as index? Because we need to return the indexes. Otherwise, we will forget on which condition three is. So we run first loop three. So then required element is six minus three, three. So we need one more three. To make it six, we need one more three. So we will check in the hash map. Is three is there? No, we, th we don't have any three. So we will go forward and we, we are going to store the previous element into the hash map. So three zero. Now we will, we will, we have two. So we have next element is two. So two, if the next element is two, target is six. So we need four, six minus two, four. So is four in the hash map? We only have three zero. So we don't have the four in the hash map. So we will move forward to four. All right, but we will we are going to store the previous element in the hash map. So we are going to store the previous element in the hash map with the key value. So right now in the hash map three zero three is index zero two is index one. So next element we will pick four. Okay, four. So we need two because to achieve the target we need two. So we will check in the hash map because two can come the previous in the previous stages. So we don't need to run the two loop. We will just take uh, in the hash map. We will just look into the hash map. So we will check whether two is in the hash map, just two in the hash map, that's it. If two is in the hash map, we are going to return the index of two because we already store the index and the index of four because we are running a loop. So we know the index of the current element. So let's try to implement the approach. So we are going to some, use some dictionary, all right? Or you can say hash map or you can say dictionary. All right, so let's take the empty dictionary, fine. Now let's calculate the length, length of nums. So because we, at least we need to run one loop. So for i in range of 0 to n, because we are going to check all numbers, right? So as soon as you pick the first number, right? So we pick the first number. So we will pick two. So, so what is the next required number? So required number is, or you can say required number is target minus nums of i so target means 9 9 minus 2 is equal to 7 7 is required then we will check if required in hash map if it is there in our case it's not there so let's let's just for the time being make it pass else if it is not there we are going to move to the second number 7 anyhow we are running a loop so it will move to the second number but what about the previous number we are going to store the previous number so let's store the previous number into some dictionary because so that we we don't want we we can't we don't we don't want another loop. So hash map of nums of i because previous number is nums of i is equal to i because we want its value as index. Okay, so now come to the seven. All right, so second number is seven. So seven uh, nine minus seven is equal to two. Required is equal to two. So within the hash map if is two in the hash map yes because we already store so if it's two in the hash map we are just going to return but we are going to return so hash map of required number comma i because whatever what is the current index that is the seven and the previous index previous index means that is the required number so let's try to run hash h a s h let's try to run so it accepted so let's try to submit it so now our solution is now you see we are beating 90 percent of the people earlier we beat only 20 percent or 28 percent of the people or, or 30 percent let's take the route figure <coughs> sorry only 30 percent but now we are between 90 percent because earlier we are in two loop because the, this is the runtime the runtime complexity is like more important so even though like this time like we are using some extra memory that's why like uh, it is it's showing like we only beat 39 because we are using some extra memory but run run because if within the question it is mentioned you have to beat the runtime complexities so we are only running one loop how to run one loop because if we are running only one loop we have we need some way to store the previous element so we are like using some hash map and we are storing some previous element 
because we can't show it in the array because in the array it's already there. If you show it in the array again, we need O of n, which we already done by running the two loop. So we need some some data structure which is the hash map. So where the search is search operation is in single go O of one. So that's it. That's the end of the video. As you can also try it's come under the easy category. You can try with the both the approach and try to submit it. So that's it. Uh, that's the end of the video. Thank you.